Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back with another reaction and analysis video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in lessons, Facebook group, or courses on drum set, check that out. It's in the text box below. Today we're going to be listening to Paul Wurtico. I was fortunate enough to see Paul Wurtico at a Pat Metheny concert, and he was just super impressive. Very, very musical player, and let's check him out. Paul Wurtico. Little by own I had to keep being kind. Nice. A lot of paradiddle stuff between the ride and this left hand. Yeah, a little one-handed roll off the rim of the snare. The Kenwood Denard creation. Johnny Rapp. Ah, now I'm actually traditional. Ah, a lot of double bass stuff. Fast singles. Almost a waterfall effect. Yes! That's like one up, two down. Love that. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's fast. Love this. Unison. Yeah. Wow. Yes. This is so cool. <laughs> Look at that! Love it! I haven't seen too many drummers do that. Whoa! Don't fall off the stool! <laughs> this is so cool! Cool contrast, the bass drum so open with the tom so dead. Samba. Huh? Very 
Great singles. Double surf. Love that. Between the feet. Love that samba to the Bayonne kind of bass drum. Love that. Take the sheet off the snare drum. Open it up a bit. Cool. Love that. One up, two down. My own pattern. Oh, the triplet stuff. Flam scenes. Kind of diddle pair, pair, diddle, diddle pair, pair, diddle, diddle pair, pair, diddle. And again, that one up, two down. Bass drums are heavy, can't hear the cymbals too well. There's again that one up, two down. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, he's tired. <laughs> oh, what a great player. You know, I haven't heard him solo very much, and I don't really remember his solo, if there was such a solo in the Pat Metheny concert. My first introduction to Paul Wertical was at my college. I was a freshman at Central Washington University, Ellensburg, Washington. Where's that, you might ask? It's in the central part of Washington State, about 100 miles east of Seattle in the foothills of the Cascade Mountain Range. Anyways, he was playing with a group called Simon and Bard, and I think the original drummer might have been Gary Hobbs, a great drummer that graduated from Central, played with Stan Kenton, lived in the Portland area. But what was so interesting is this guy had this small bass drum and it had contact paper on it. <laughs> I mean, like, he like finished, took off the lugs and put contact paper on his drums and put the lugs back on. And we all gathered and huddled around this amazing drummer and started asking questions because we just thought the kit sounded good but looked bizarre and I don't even know if they all match but it was something goofy and he also played with knitting needles I was just so blown away I mean he plays Pisces cymbals you probably know that and he was playing this flat ride with a knitting needle and it was so delicate and light I'd never seen a drummer do that so I was pretty blown away by some of the creative inventive ideas that this drummer had for textures obviously you heard that you know he's putting those sheets over the drums and playing with like these tubular mallet kind of sticks and getting some really cool sounds exploring that you could see another smaller drum off to the side maybe perhaps in his presentation he talked about that too but we all huddled around him and i remember i was i'm always into books i've been through well over 50 drum set books because you know like when you read books you become smarter when you go through drum set method books you become smarter drummer and better and I asked him, so what method books did you go through? And one of the things he said that blew me away is he goes, you know, I don't really practice books on the drum set. I go through them in my mind. <laughs> I was like, in your mind? I, it, I didn't understand. Was he out of his mind? <laughs> but it was just so bizarre to hear somebody say that. Now, at this stage in my development, and for some time now, it took a long time to get here, I understand. Because when you spend a lot of time behind the instrument, you can look at books and you can read through the exercises and imagine your body's movements playing them. 
And I've actually done some of this on some airport trips, going through books where I wanted to absorb the contents and even tapping them out to where the person said to me, oh, excuse me, sir, could you please not tap on my table? <laughs> As you can see, the music causes me to move. It's hard to sit too still a lot of the time. Anyways, many of you drummers might not have heard of Paul Wertical. He was with Pat Metheny for quite a long time, and then he's been replaced by another great drummer. But uh, anyways, I hope you like this. Some interesting textures, putting his feet up on the drums and pushing and bending the pitch is really unorthodox, but super cool. It kind of fits with way back when I first met him in that quirky looking drum set playing with knitting needles. So I've always enjoyed Paul's playing. He's got his own voice and it's very unique and I just really enjoy it. So if you liked it, great, give me a thumbs up. And take care, and I'll see you on the next reaction and analysis video. Bye-bye.